what's up? It's me, Weather Server Six here, and we got a bunch of BB guns, airsoft guns. Um, so we're gonna be shooting Play-Doh, kind of to do like a strength test. So first, we're gonna start off with this really old, blocky, almost like a high point. Um, well, 1911. It shoots little tiny BBs. We're gonna load the mag in. Get some safety on. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, guys, this 1911, the BBs keep falling out of it when I shoot. <laughs> Every time I cock the slide back, we're just going to... Alright, we're just going to fire it. Go ahead and go point blank. Just so I hit it. Uh, well, there's our round. That is a very weak. Alright. Right there. You can see a little. Not sure if you guys will even be able to see it. Just a little tiny dent. Nothing much. Next, we're going to go second strongest. Well, weakest. Um, we have a little pump action shotgun. Just shooting the same thing. Same Play Doh. Um, it has a scope, but I don't really feel like using it because it's not that accurate. Well, there's our bullet! Looky there. There's our BB. Just came in and, well, made itself a hole. <laughs> Look at that. So, you can see the BB sits there. That's pretty strong for, and it's... Wait till we get up to that gun, the AR. Next time, Barrett, it's a single shot. Safety. Barrett. Well, we caught her around again. How do we keep catching these bullets? So that one went. Made a bigger dent, but I don't think it went as far. Like you can see, there's a big entry. We're gonna turn it on its side. Because now we're really getting big. This, I'm sure, will go into it. We have an AR, very high power. This one's gonna get a little crazy. I'm assuming we're going to actually have to cut open the Play-Doh. Yep. 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 Look at that. It's in there. We're cutting the Play-Doh open. Oops. We have a little butter knife here. There it is. Look at that. Right there. So, probably half inch if not an inch so that was pretty strong but now we have a metal BB gun that's what I call it and there's a BB gun it shoots these metal rounds scopes off so I'm gonna do point blank I'll try to do iron sights safety off Yep, look at that. There's a dent. Entry. Exit. That is our exit. These are just, this is just the sides I've been hitting, but that is our exit wound. And we have a hit. So I think it's time we do something a little more fun. This AR, um, it has semi-auto and also full auto. This may get a little fun. All right, let's see. Well, I can tell you, 
I already tell you one thing. I got peppered with BB shrapnel, Play-Doh. Look, I can already tell. Here, let's get this knife. I can already tell you. It's a little tiny BB part. A full BB. Quarter of a BB. Looks like none made it through. I'm gonna cut this open. These aren't. Really? That's it? Well, baby shrapnel? Yeah, nothing even came close to going through. Wow! I thought full auto would do a little bit better than that. So, 1911. I'll just. I'm not. This one recognized. Off cardboard. And if you pack the slide back twice, BBs fall out. See? Later he bounced off. Shotgun? Do you have my safety glasses on? That's in the cardboard. Gun. So that I think actually went through. Yep. I can tell there's an exit wound. There's an exit wound. I think that's me. We've shot this cardboard so much. I don't know. There's also paper inside it. So, it's, it's construction paper. So, it's pretty strong. All these guns are pretty good. Um, this one, pretty cheap. This one, like, ten bucks. It's trash. Uh, this one, twenty bucks. The gun itself, great. The magazine... Not so great at all. We got this from eBay for $20. They paid us $20 back to keep it. We tried to return it. They wouldn't let us. So it was kind of a pretty good deal. This, I'm guessing it was probably 125 probably. This is a really strong gun, my favorite. This I don't know. This was a Christmas present in James. Like, we've had this thing for a year. And the pump to, like, to pump it to give it power doesn't work so good. But it works every now and then for you. But it's old and it scope sucks. So, my favorite is probably this one. If you wanted a gun that was under $30, this one. If you want something really high quality, this is it. It's really powerful. It's really good. So, I think that's all we're going to do today. Um, yeah, so, like, subscribe. See you next time.